worked for the past seven years since 2013. Um, our objectives really are to create uh, awareness about the importance of having end-of-life conversations. So when we started in 2013, we were at Kutik Pot Hospital working actively with the hospital staff. We were there for about three weeks and actually the hospital enjoyed it so much in terms of the engagement and the opportunities to you know, talk to patients and doctors and the community living there that they extended it one more month on their own. But we always knew we wanted to go into the heart of communities. So in the following year, we went to uh, Katip and Tropayo for one week each. We also toured like 50 different senior centres all over Singapore, so bringing uh, the opportunity to have the conversations in more places. But then we realised one week in each community isn't enough as well, because really people are aware, they're having questions, but how do we go deeper with those conversations? And typically also that requires creating trust with people so they can open up and share more stories. After being aware, they would like to learn certain skills, you know, practice the conversations. So then we said, hmm, actually we do need a long period of time in, in you know each community. So then the last three years, 2017 to 2019, we've been in Chongpang and Teluk Blanga for two to three years. But while we were there, one thing we discovered was that people who watch the performances, who look at the exhibition, wanted very much to share their stories in response to it. And that actually helped us to develop this aesthetic of listening, whereby how do we create an artwork using the space that allow people to want to share and be listened to. Over the past seven years, what has been really important to us is being able to contextualise our arts-based approaches in the different communities that we're in because each community is different, has different demographics, different cultural groups. When we first started the project, we were creating artworks for the community to engage with them. But we realised it was very important to have their voices and stories within the artworks for them to be co-creating with us. So that was a crucial development. And so in the last three years, they've been working with both sides now artists to actually create these artworks which were then installed in the public. And what is empowering about it is then these community voices and stories are then reflected back to the community when they come and see the artworks. And this is important because in a sense they are claiming their own spaces, normalising thinking about end-of-life issues in these spaces. In that sense, giving the permission and safe space to explore these issues amongst themselves, with their families, with their neighbours. Another kind of end-of-life friendly community that we've built over the past seven years is actually the volunteers of both sides now. They're a huge resource and actually they are the ones doing a lot of the frontline engagement with the community, with residents, apart from the artists. Over the seven years also, we've developed a toolkit of creative approaches to talk about end-of-life issues. And this is primarily for care workers, so from healthcare, social care, uh, and community care sectors, because they were asking for different ways of facilitating the conversation. So what we did is we compiled the different approaches we've been using, the different activities over the seven years, put it together into a toolkit, and then we provide accompanying training. I think over these seven years of making both sides now, while we spend a lot of time talking about what it means to live well, what it means to die well, one of the things we discover that for all this to happen, this process is so much about building relations. So much about how relations actually keep one together, keep one's identity, keep one being feeling less alone, how relations actually help one actually deal with problems, not alone, but feeling that you're supported.